Good morning. Good morning, my dear students, and welcome to our first virtual lesson. Hey, my dear guys. <clears throat> my dear guys, has any one of you asked yourself, asked himself, why we study online nowadays? It doesn't escape any one of you what has the world been witnessing nowadays. Of <clears throat> after the outbreak of after the outbreak of coronavirus, many of the countries of the, of, around the world has cancelled all its public its public activities, and they look down. They look down. <clears throat> all its institutions, like universities, like schools, like worship houses, like, uh, <coughs> like shopping malls, and etc., etc., etc. And this made uh, the educational institutions has to find another solution, or another module, in order to make sure that their students are still able to learn. So we have launched our educational platform. Uh, we launched this platform only to keep you, you, you safe and sound. So stay at home and enjoy our lessons online. First of all, I want to acknowledge, to take you on a tour to acknowledge you of our platform. Once you access our platform, once you access our platform, you will find all the subjects divided into departments and sections. Once you log on, let's log on our English department. When you log on our English department, you will find at first the distribution of the remaining period. This is very important uh, subject or this is very important topic because I want to acknowledge you with the deleted exercises you uh, does, it doesn't or it don't uh, get in your exam. So open your box to acknowledge you what is uh, deleted. First of all, page, twin, page 72, student book, page 72. This page, 72, this page is deleted, okay? This page is deleted. Another page, 82. 82 is also deleted. This page, 82 also deleted. Another page, page 87. Page 87, also deleted. Concerning workbook, there are many exercises deleted. First one, Page 54 and 55. Page 54 and 55 deleted. These two pages, 54 and 55. Other pages, 64 and 65. 
64 and 65 also deleted. Other pages, 71, 70 and 71. 70 and 71. Also deleted. Okay. The last page, 76 and 77. 76, 76 and 77. These pages, all these pages are deleted from your colloquia, so it won't come in your exam. So, in parallel with this deletion, you have some words deleted also. These words, this only the words you will study for your exam. The words I show you now. Okay. Okay. Now, let's start our today's lesson. Now, open your box on page. Page 64. Page 64. Has anyone seen our, our screen? Unit 8, very 2. How do you think the Silk Road? So Madinat Harir will it change the way we live. How do you think the Silk City, Madinat Harir, will it change the way we live? People can enjoy better life away from noise and pollution. They will care and respect the nature. Also, they will help create productive and healthy people. Now let's study the new lexical items, shall we? Repeat after me, astounded. Astounded, astounded means shocked, amazed, astonished, or greatly surprised. Densely means closely compacted. Example, densely related areas are difficult to live in. Disturbance, disturbance, the interruption of peaceful condition. Noise is the biggest disturbance for sleeping people. Embraced, embraced means shocked or greatly surprised. The girl felt embraced because her mother shouted at her in front of her friends. Far and wide, far and wide, far and wide, over a large area. Example, due to their popularity, people come from far and wide to watch Kuwait Towers. Glamour, 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 charm and fascination. Mountain landscape, have held a glamour for, for artists and boys throughout history. Hub. Hub means center of activity. Kuwait is doing its best to be the hub of economical projects in the region. Hustle and bustle. Hustle and bustle. Hustle and bustle, 
means lively activity. Example, mom usually spends the whole afternoon shopping at the, as she loves the hustle and bustle of old market. Metropolis, metropolis, metropolis means the capital or chief city of a country. Example, I spent a rather unusual day at the busy metropolis of San Francisco. Narrate, narrate, narrate. To give a spoken written account of. Example, Mama always narrates a story for me just before my bedtime. Odds and ends, odds and ends, odds and ends means bits and pieces. I have moved most of the big things to the new house, but there are a few odds and ends to collect. Lock up the courage, lock up the courage. Make an effort to do something that frightens one. Example, he blocked up the courage and jumped the high fence. Tranquil, tranquil, tranquil means calm, free from disturbance. Example, the hotel stands in a tranquil area near the lagoon. Now, open your books on page 64. Exercise one, page four, so 64, exercise one. Read the email before, below. Look for the six inverted sentences in the text. Our example, our grammar today is inverted sentences. Let's see this, this example. I have never felt so happy in my life. This is an ordinary sentence. Oh, this is a usual order. It's construction of subject, verb, and complement. When we change it, when we change it to inverted sentence, it will become never have I felt so happy in my life. Do you, do you notice what's happening? Yes, yes. We begin with, we begin with the adverb, then an auxiliary verb, then the subject, then the verb. Let's see another example. An inverted sentence switches. Switches the placement of the verb before the subject of a sentence as if in a question. Or inverted sentences. Another example, I rarely meet famous actors in the mall. Who can invert it? Yes, yes. We begin with the adverb. Then we need an auxiliary verb, do. Then the subject. Then the verb. Then the complement of the sentence. The answer is, rarely do I meet famous actors in the mall. What are the conjunctions used in inverted sentences? Yes, not only, but also. Rarely, scarcely when. No sooner than, hardly when, little, seldom, and never. 
and never. I repeat, I repeat the conjunctions once more. The words that used to, to make inversion. Not only, but also, rarely, scarcely when, hardly when, no sooner than, little, seldom, and never. And there are many, there are many conjunctions that is used. Now, refer to, come again to page 74, 64, and we will read the, the email to and underline, and underline the inverted sentences. I'm writing to tell you about my outing to the countryside the other, way, the other day. Rarely do I have such a good story to narrate. Yes, yes. The first one, rarely do I have such a good story to narrate. Underline it. I was visiting my cousins in their villages when I saw my favorite musician doing some shopping. Never have I been so astounded. Yes, underline it. Never have I been so astounded. I went into the village shop and spotted him, but no sooner, okay, no sooner had I plucked up the courage to speak to him. Underline it from no sooner. No sooner had I blacked up the courage to speak to him. Then he left another shop. I hurried out of the shop, but scarcely, yes, scarcely had I done so when I ran right into him. I was, very, underline it, I was very impressed. Little, yes, it's also inverted sentence. Little did I expect to bump into my hero. However, I, he told me that not only did he value his fans, but he really enjoyed meeting them. He asked me about myself and we discovered that we had both been brought up in the village and both now live in the same area. Uh, let's check your answers. Okay. The inverted sentence are, rarely do I have such a good story to narrate. The second one, never have I been so astounded. The third, no sooner have I blocked up the courage to speak to him. The fourth one, but scarcely have I done so when I ran into him. The fifth one, little did I expect to bump into my hero. After that, not only did he value his fans but he really enjoyed meeting them. Okay. Have you all underlined them? Have you all underlined them? Okay. Now, now cover, cover your answer, cover your underlining, Merci. then rearrange, rearrange the sentences below so that they are inverted. It changed it to inverted sentences. I rarely have such a good story. Who can, who can invert it to inversion? Who can make a good inversion of the sentence? Yes. Rarely do I have such a good story to narrate. Good. Good, very good. The second one, I have never seen so astounded. I have never seen, 
I've never been so astounded. Who can invent it? Yes. Yes. Never have I been so astounded. Yes. Yes. The, second, the third one, as soon as I had blocked up the courage to speak to him, he left for another shop. Who can change it? Huh? As soon as I had blocked up the courage to speak to him, he left to another shop. We will use no sooner. Okay? No sooner had I blocked up the courage to speak to him than he left for another shop. The first one. I had scarcely I had scarcely left when I ran right into him. Who can you change it into inverted sentence? Yes, we we'll begin with scarcely. Scarcely had I left when I ran right into him. The fifth one. I little expected him into my hero. Begin with little. Hmm. Little did I expect him. Little did little. The adverb did the auxiliary, the uh, subject, I, then the verb expect, then I complete the sentence to bump into my hair. The last one. He told me that he valued his fans and really enjoyed meeting them. He told me that he valued his fans and really enjoyed meeting hmm, them. Okay, we will take them one by one. Oh, I rarely have such a good story to narrate. Okay, oh, rarely do I have such a good story to narrate. Second one, I've never been so astounded. After inversion, it will become Never have I been so astounded. The third one, as soon as I had blocked up the courage to speak to him, he left for another shop. We'll use no sooner. No sooner had I blocked up the courage to speak to him, he left for then, than he left for another shop. Yes, I had scarcely left when I ran right into him. Inverted sentence. Scarcely had I left when I ran right into him. I little expected to bump into my hero. Little did I expect to bump into my hero. He told me that he valued his fans and really enjoyed meeting them. He told me that not only, not only did he value his fans, but he really enjoyed meeting them. Okay, now create inverted sentence from these sentences. Create 
I give two minutes two minutes to create or to to can create inverted sentence. Have you finished? Yes, we will do it with each other. I have seldom been so upset about something. Inverted it. Seldom have I been so upset about something. We begin with the adverb, then the auxiliary, have, then the subject I. Seldom have I been so upset about something. The second one, I have never been so proud of you. Inverted it. Never have I been so proud of you. She only now understood the problem. She only now understood the problem. Only now, only now did she understand the problem. We begin with only now. Only now, we need an auxiliary verb. From the past verb understood, we use that. Then she, then the main verb understand, then the problem. The answer is only now did she understand the problem. I could not sleep because the situation was so strange. So strange, yes, we begin with so strange. So strange was the situation. So, so strange was the situation, I couldn't sleep. He had rarely seen something that had him so happy. Yeah, rarely, correct. Rarely had he seen something that made him so happy. The last one, they had never seen such a beautiful sight. Uh, but never, never have I seen such a beautiful sight. We'll take them one by one once more. I have seldom been so upset about something. Seldom have I been so upset about something. I have never been so proud of you. Never have I been so proud of you. She only now understood the problem. Only now. She did understand the problem. I couldn't, I could not sleep because the situation was so strange. So strange was a situation that I couldn't sleep. He had ready, he had, he had rarely seen something that made him so happy. Rarely had he seen something that made him so happy. They had never seen such a beautiful sight. Never had they seen such a beautiful sight. Now, let's have an, another example. Another exercise, another choose from A, B, C, and D exercise. Not, or space, so bored to watch such a film. Who can answer? Who 
Who can choose? Ah, I have never, I have been never, or no, I have been, or have I, have been I never, or never have I been. Ah. Okay, that's correct. Never have I been. This is the inverted structure. Never have I been. Second one, rarely space to movies. Rarely he goes or does he go, does go or does he go or he goes. Hmm. What's the answer? Yes, does he go, does he go, does he go? The third one, no sooner had he reached the school, no out through space, the bell rang. No sooner, the completion of no sooner what, no sooner when, no sooner than, no sooner that, no sooner but. Mm. Yes, no sooner than. No sooner than. Now, these some examples for you to complete at home as a homework. But we will solve it. Uh, solve it uh, with each other. I solve it with you, but I won't give you the answer. I only say the answer. You will answer them and we will see them the next period. I have never seen such a sight. Begin with never. Begin with never. Yes, never, we begin with never, then have, then I seen such sight. The answer is never have I seen such a sight. The second one, Ali has passed his examination, he got high mark. Ali has passed his examination, he got high marks. Use not only, or begin with not only. Who can answer? Yes. Not only has Ali passed his examination, but also he got high marks, or but also, but he also got high marks. The third one. I leave my house late at night, begin with little, little do I leave, little do I leave my house little, late at night. I had finished my dinner, the bell rang, no use, no sooner. Yes, no sooner have I finished my dinner than the bell rang. The boy studied hard. He has time to play games. Use not only. Yes, not only does the boy study hard, but also he has time to play games. She reached the situation, then the train left. Use hardly when. Yes. Hardly did she reach the station when the train left. When the train left. That's correct. Thank you.